Today, we're gonna have a first look at BMC's brand new Alpen Challenge drop handlebar road bike. For anyone new to the channel, my name's Cruz and we make videos about cycling. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started with today's bike introduction. We're gonna do a quick review over the bike, over its specs, and also go for a nice quick little test ride. We're here in beautiful Italy for BMC's test ride event, and we couldn't have a more gorgeous venue in beautiful weather for today. So let's go ahead and begin with the overview of the bike. So the Alpen Challenge is traditionally BMC's commuter line, and it's evolved now into their new amp series here. We've got their electric powered bikes. These are powered by a Shimano battery and motor. So we can see here, we've got our battery located right here. This is in the center of the bike to maintain the center of gravity. We've also got the engine down here as well. And these bikes are generally pretty Shimano'd out. We've got the Shimano crank, and we've also got a Shimano Ultegra rear derailleur as well. So let's actually start with the front of the bike. For anyone who's new to the Shimano e-bike ecosystem, we've got a menu here. So we've got some different modes. Currently this is in boost mode and you can switch between these modes by the levers over here on the left side. So if we click here, it'll go down to an easier mode. And if we click up here, it'll go to a more supportive mode. So right now we're in trail mode. If we go down, we go to eco mode. If we go down, it's off. So off is of course the lowest setting. If we go up, eco mode is a little bit of support. Trail is a bit more support, and then boost is super support. So I'll go over these in our test ride. Let's turn it off for right now so we can save some energy. We're fully charged at this moment. And also at the front, we've got a beautiful sleek aero stem here. So this is BMC's ICS stem system. Another cool thing about the BMC stems is we've got this integrated stem cover plate here. So you can put different adapters here, like your Garmin mount or your GoPro mount or a light, whatever you want. And this is a super sleek setup. You can see all the cables are hidden and they go into the stem itself. So there's really no external cables out here other than the little bit that you see here. And this bike is just blacked out, stealth black color with a nice white BMC logo. We've got a sleek front profile as well, sleek front fork and for the wheel and tire setup, we've got some DT Swiss semi deep dish spline wheels, as well as the stock tires on here, our 30C Vittoria Corsa tires. So also checking out the top tube here, you can see it's a pretty slim design back here over by the seat post, and it gradually gets more thick as you get up to the front. So a nice thick profile here. We've got the logo as well, Alpen Challenge Amp. Amp is the electric power series for BMC. For the saddle, we've got a Physique Antares saddle. So a lot of BMC bikes, oh, we've got, this is the stopper for the seat post adjuster. So I just adjusted the seat post to my height. We got to put that down, cover the adjuster. For people who don't know, BMC's seat posts for some of their models are adjusted here. Sometimes they're adjusted down on the bottom, but we can't do that with this model because of the battery. Another interesting thing on the back here, which is different than the other Alpen Challenge bikes, is this is the micro travel system. So this is on their top of the line mountain bikes and it gives a little bit more of a comfort feel and also helps get more traction on the bike. For me, I'll be test riding a size M today. I'm actually 183 centimeters in height, so I'm kind of in between M and L. I'm generally more comfortable in an L, but I like to size down to a medium bike when I can. And also on a medium bike, I can also share it with my wife. She's on the bottom spectrum of the medium and I'm on the top spectrum of the medium. So one more last look at the full bike itself. Beauty here, and I've been getting a lot of comments lately on my channel. I do a lot of commuting videos where I do my commuting. I actually live in Japan, and a lot of people in the comments are always telling me I should get an e-bike for my commuting, and this seems to be a pretty awesome choice for that. We've got the drop bar, so we can get down, get a little bit more aero, and I'm really excited to see how this feels. I've been testing out some of the different e-bikes since I've been here. I tested out one of the Alpen Challenges with the flat bar with the motor, and I also tested out one of their mountain bike e-bikes as well. So it's really awesome. I hadn't had any experience with e-bikes until now. And today, all of a sudden, I'm getting all this experience with e-bikes. Anyway, I'm talking too much. Let's go get out and do the test ride of the bike. How is this bike for you? It's I'm going out to test ride it okay. right now. I'm very excited. You will see. You will see. I, at the beginning, I was like, no, I am bikes. No, <laughs> bikes must be muscular. Yeah. And I tried it. And it was like <laughs> yeah. going uphill and uh, not sweating. You will enjoy yeah, it's also, heavy. <laughs> yes, but riding you don't feel the weight. Right. Do you know how much this is? How much weight this is? I think 14. 14 or so? That sounds and about right. And it's not so heavy comparing with other... Right, right, bikes. right. I'm gonna go test it out. You will tell me. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Let's go test this guy out. So apparently about 14 kilograms or so. Maybe a little bit more. It feels pretty heavy. But supposedly... You don't really feel it while you ride. 
that's been the case with the other e-bikes I've been trying. Oh, so again, we're in Italy, this beautiful area for all the test rides, really gorgeous background area. And it's starting to get later in the day. I've been test riding bikes all day. So if you're interested in seeing some of the other uh, demo videos, check out the playlist. I'll link it up in the top section of the video. So right now, the support is off and I'm going downhill. I can definitely tell the bike is really heavy compared to a normal bike, um, but it doesn't really feel, I don't feel too disadvantaged or anything like that. Also the rear shifter is also electronic. That's really nice. Some of the other e-bikes that I've been doing weren't electric shifters in the back. So this is the first one I'm trying that has a combination of electric shifting and the electric support. So we've actually, we're still going flat and I'm feeling really comfortable on the off. So like if I ran out of battery and I needed to ride this in a flat section, I think I'd feel pretty comfortable with this. But the place where you really start to notice these e-bikes and the disadvantage if you have the engine off is when you go uphill. So that's what we're gonna start doing right now. Oh yeah, this thing is, I'm really feeling this. So I'm gonna turn the first level on. Let's go to eco mode. And I think I'm in a pretty heavy gear, so let's shift down a little bit. So once I shift down into lower gear, and I'm just spinning pretty comfortably. I wish I had a heart rate monitor to track this, but right now I'm not breaking a sweat and I'm going about 20K an hour. So yeah, I'm just flying up this hill. I'm not sure if you can tell how steep this is, but this is definitely at least a five, six percent gradient. And we're just cruising up here. So I'm rotating maybe about 90 cadence and I don't really feel anything like it's just really comfortable. So let's go up another mode. We're on trail mode. I'm at the same cadence, so I didn't really notice a difference in support. If I increase the cadence, oh yeah, there we go. Up to 23K now. That's crazy. Got a red light here. Oh, green, lucky us. So let's actually go right here so we can go down this hill and go uphill again. So when you go downhill, it actually coasts. Even if I pedal, the engine doesn't activate. It's just coasting. Lots of speed bumps here in Italy. And again, of course, there's no disadvantage going downhill with these things. So the heavy weight actually helps you go downhill. You get more momentum, you get more speed going downhill. So there's really no disadvantage once you got your motor going because the motor helps you go uphill. You don't need it on the downhill. Supposedly, if you manage your power, so when you don't need it, you should put this in eco mode, maintain your battery as much as you can. Don't waste it. And supposedly this thing will last like a good four or five hours, maybe longer, depending on how conservative you are with saving your energy. There's a tractor here. So we're in eco mode right now. Let's shift up. So I've noticed when I put this in a heavier gear, I don't get as much support, but if I go to a lower gear and I up my cadence, I definitely get a lot more support. So maybe there's something to that with e-bikes. It's also good for you because you should be riding with a higher cadence. So you're riding in a way that's better for your knees, better for your body, better for your training. And you also get some more support that way. Check that out. That's the beautiful area we're riding in right now. So this hill's getting pretty steep. We're in eco mode right now. Let's boost it up. Trail mode. We were at 23. Now we're going 25.5 an hour and let's boost it up to boost pick up the cadence a bit and there we go 26 uphill can't complain with that yeah that boost mode is insane but if you stay in the boost mode the whole time it's just gonna drain the battery so we're flat right now let's drop back down eco mode yeah this thing's really comfortable and 
even though I'm pretty tall, I'm feeling really comfortable on the M size here. Get in the drops. Getting in the drops. So way different feeling than the one with the drop bars that I tested earlier. Let's go over this way. This way is really scenic. Unfortunately, I don't think I have too much more time to test this guy out. It's the end of the day. We got to start returning the bikes back. I'm pretty surprised with how rough some of these roads are here in Italy. Like, dang. But that's a good test with these bikes. Uh, you got the wider tire so you get a bit more support than you would if you'd be commuting on like a road bike. So this is nice because it's got the feel of a road bike, the handlebars of a road bike, but you get a lot more comfort with the wider tire clearance and you get the support so you're not as tired on your commute. I've been mentioning that I commute like about 200 kilometers every week, which isn't a lot, but combining that with regular riding, regular training and the full workload and editing YouTube videos, I get pretty tired some days and some days I wish I had an e-bike to support me on my commute. And let's go up here. Usually when you climb, you can find some good sites. Lots of little cafes like that in Italy here. So starting to struggle a bit on this climb, let's go up from eco mode, trail mode. Oh, there we go, that's nice and easy. Look at that. Just coasting up this super steep hill. <laughs> and we're still only in trail mode. We got boost mode, let's, let's activate that. Oh my goodness. We just jumped up from 23K an hour to 25K an hour. And it got easier. <laughs> That's insane. So overall impressions. Today was my first day again, riding e-bikes, testing out e-bikes. And I gotta say, I went in with some pretty high expectations and these have beaten my expectations. It's way more comfortable than I expected. Oh, here we go. We're going up some switchbacks. And yeah, holy crap. We're, we're just flying up these switchbacks. I might honestly have to get one of these for like my wife. And then we can go on some really good training rides, long distance adventure rides together. And then we can just really enjoy it because I train a bit more seriously than she does. And sometimes I push the pace a bit too hard to the point where it's not fun for her. And with a bike like this, she can easily keep up with me, if not pass me and drop me on these types of climbs. Like, I'd have to be pushing over 400 watts to go the pace I'm going right now. And I'm only putting in like maybe 100 watts right now. This is absolutely insane. I feel like I'm on like a motorcycle just flying up this mountain. So what do you guys think? What do you guys think of the look of this bike? E-bike with road drop handlebars. Are there any other better options out there? If you have a chance to check out some e-bikes from BMC, highly recommend to go check it out. Unfortunately, we don't have many options in Japan right now because Japan's really strict about their regulations with e-bike assistance. But if you're in a country in like Europe or America, there's tons of options to go test out and experience e-bikes. Anyway, guys, I think I'm gonna end today's video here. But before we do that, let's turn around and take a look at this beautiful view. Normally you have to work really hard to get a beautiful view like this, but honestly, I didn't work at all. And I'm gonna go back to our event eat some delicious food that I did not earn today, but it's all good. Check that out. All right, guys, it's been good. Hope you guys enjoyed this review of the BMC Alpen Challenge Amp Sport Road. If you like these kinds of videos, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like it, be sure to subscribe. Also, be sure to check out some of the other videos from my trip here in Italy with all the new models from BMC. We'll be doing a couple bike reviews and bike test rides like this video right now. That's it for today, guys. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time here on Two Wheel Cruise. Ciao.